Hi Erin, today I'm playing the game called Poppy Playtime, this be chapter 1. I believe there's two more chapters after this. This one's free to play, if you want to play is in the description. And the other two cost money. And um, this will I'm a toy factory and I basically try and survive and toys come to life. Right, so I believe. Um, if you like this video please give a like, comment, subscribe, it really does help me out. And let's just get to this. Chapter 1. The Tight Squeeze. Our next employee of Playtime Co. You finally returned to the factory many years after everyone within the spirit. Okay, so this is so I'm go returning to the factory. Okay. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. Hi! My name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. <coughs> An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Hmm. What's that about? Well, this is not a good factory if people disappear. I wonder why. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay. I'm excited. Oh. So I did actually watch someone play this game, a YouTuber play this game, so, but it's been a very long time since I watched that video, so I don't really remember anything besides it being very colourful and there's a nice mechanic to it, I think a stretchy arm and yeah, not much else. So I'm interested to see what happens, so I don't have a clue. Um, but yeah, I do kind of like. Ooh, I got a tape. Item. A tape. Okay. Do I put it in here? No. I do kind of like the idea that they have. Um. No. Oh, I need color codes. Oh God, this is gonna be difficult to find. This place is very colorful. Anything that kind of stands out. Maybe a go through this oh yeah go through here hmm yeah I don't see anything yeah I do kind of like this smart idea that they have like a um, chapter one that's free and then the next chapters you have to pay the reason for that is I also want to I'm also inspired I also want to make an indie horror game one day, hopefully this year. So I'm kind of playing this for enjoyment, other people to watch, but also to learn. And that's kind of what I do with most of my videos. I play to learn, to enjoy, and yeah, to to um, maybe get give developers, game developers more views on their game. Um, but yeah. So this is a very interesting one and uh, this, the toy chapter just came out recently so I definitely want to give this a go. 
And yeah, but I can't, I don't think anything's in this room at all that I can interact with yet. Oh. Maybe. Is that for something? I don't know. Maybe something in this. Oh, here's a tape. Great. Let's go back and watch the tape. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, mm. this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects tame. of our security system. What's no that mean? spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I mm -hmm. just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Okay, so I'm going to be in trouble. Hmm, I'm not seen to interact yet. Not that I can tell. That is green, pink, yellow, and red, maybe? It's the only thing that kind of moves. I think it's green, pink, yellow, red. Okay, yeah. Grand. Um. I got no tape. Great. Anything else? No. Okay. Let's put in tape number two and see what happens. No? Oh, I think the tapes only work on certain uh, VCRs that have that color, so it'd probably be in this one. Okay. Okay, grab pack. Mm-hmm. Is that around? Maybe that joke. Do not fire out the crow rock workers. Oh my. Okay. Can I get it? Can I get that toy? Is that it? Can I? Gimme. Yeah. I okay, so I only have one. This is a cool mechanic. I do hear kind of like um, what the game developers talking about um, having a nice mechanic that people remember. Like this kind of reminds me of that. It's very unique, very different. Kind of like Zelda, the Tears, the newest Zelda game. That had loads of mechanics where you make your own kind of um I don't know what you call machineries where you can fly and stuff like that, so it's, that's unique mechanic. Hehe. <laughs> Hello, high five. Okay, grand. Oh, I guess I need to Yeah. Oh here's one. Perfect.
Okay. What? Give me, give me, give me, give me. One. Did I get a key? Now what? Oh, this door maybe? No, it's locked. That was not suspicious at all. Where did that key come from? Um. Oh, can I read this? A topic? That's an office? Okay. So Hoagie Woogie Playtime Co. has designed uh, has designed hundreds of Dink Stink toys and none of them connected with people more than that Hoagie Woogie. One of the founders effort Wiglet w Lord Wing aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As it always is true, Playtime Co. for theft process creating the most like lifelike toys was successful. With the bit of strain and ploy stuff, our loyal blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggly has gone on to be the Playtime Co.'s most popular and best selling toy. Okay. So is that a friendly companion then? Yeah. Um, so I need to turn on the power, I presume. So maybe through here. Yeah. Okay. Now what? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, here. No? Yeah. Oops. Okay. I have to divorce the power somewhere. Here? Huh? Gimme. Hmm, not sure what I need to do. Okay. Maybe that to here. No. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Here? No. What's this about? Oh. Something does. Okay. Let's just go around. To here? No. Oh, here's the one. Oh, great! Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a good mechanic. It's different. Oh, did it work? No? Let's see if it work. And the toy is gone. Oh, crap. Um. Shit. Oh yeah, the tire's back on. Where did that toy go? It must be alive. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Come on. Shit. The trap. Ugh. Okay. Now what? Okay. Hmm. 
Remember to take breaks. Okay. So, do I get down? Okay. Oh, give me. I think I need four of them. I assume. This... I don't know. Maybe... You see something over there? Yeah. Give me. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, here's one. Give me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do I jump? I guess. Maybe. Come on. I think this is a bit glitchy. The space bar stopped walking. I'm pretty sure I pressed E on those when I got the spare pain and it just didn't walk. Oh shit! So, yeah. I need to make progression now. So, I get, I guess I get the other arm. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now I have two. Now I have more access. I believe. Now what will happen now? Um I suppose yeah. In I go. Whee. Oop. No. Um Um. Hmm. Oh, here maybe. Yeah. 
No. So I'll go around. Go in. Yeah. I'll loot this. Oops, shit. No. No. Um, right, so... Yeah, Tina's gonna walk now. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Uh, what? Okay. What now? Our founder Elliot's what our founder Elliot Lord Wing uh, was a visionary. He was set he was, he set the stage for all Playtime Company, the greatest fleet. Yet uh, of all the amazing teams that he created, a f make a friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive and advanced. It's solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co, co toy sold on the market to this day. Um, all it needs to be fed a proper part and then it will it will then paint and assemble and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need of complex sorting and back breeding labour. This machine can do it all and more. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing I need to get parts and feed something. Um, but I don't see anything yet. Maybe I'll go up the stairs. It's another tape. Oops. power. Okay, let's try this again and this time not fall off. Oh. Maybe not now. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, oh, there's another puzzle. Um. Okay. Oh, here we go. I got a toy. Oh, give me. I saw that earlier. Now what? Me. Okay. Nobody leaves without a toy. Okay. Can I leave now? Yeah. Okay, that's locked, that's not locked too. Oh shit! Oh shit. I'm not even looking at that. Oh, it's too soft to me. I can hear it. Oh shit, no. Get up.
Oh great. Good. Now, let go. Let go. Come on. Yeah. Good. That took me forever to get by. Unless I'm done. Now I can move on. Um, yeah, so... Hopefully I don't see that bear again, but I doubt that would be the last time I'll see it. Um, nice colourful. Let's go up to the flower. Why not? Uh, no, run. Danger. Turn around. Stop. Go back. Um, it has the VCR there and this tape, so maybe I'll give that a go. Gimme. Can I put it? Item? Tape? Oh, yeah. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. Hmm. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Team to go. I guess that person died. And I might do, but I'll leave here now. And get out of the place. Yeah. Okay. This is different. I'm kind of in a house as opposed to a factory. Hmm. This is different. It's nice, happy music, too, for now. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Can I open this? No. Can I open. No. What do we need really to interact with? Okay, let's keep going. Uh oh. Um. I guess I might have to open this. Oh, shit. What did I do? You opened my case. And. Okay, that's the end of chapter one. Okay. So you know, that was quite good. I just found it very glitchy when I was getting chased by the bear. There was loads of times I just kind of was just not moving. When I was kind of like in the vent where the I wasn't hitting a corner or something. I just was blocked. What a nice, it was a good game. I like the mechanics of the movable hands and everything like that. Um, yeah, so if you do want me to play too much chapters available. So if you do want me to play, let me know. Please comment below, let me know. I won't be playing them for the next while because I'm quite busy. As outside of working f a normal day job, I do kind of write fantasy novels. So, um, and I kind of want to get back into trying to learn how to make a shot indie horror game. So my time that kind of explains why that I only publish a video once. I try to do weekly, but sometimes I've just a lot of things I need to do, and it gets a week a video every two weeks. So at the, for the moment I'll be playing short indie horror games so I can try to get them done weekly. And then kind of like after that, I, once I've kind of caught up my writing and kind of started to learn how to make an indie horror game, I'll, I'll play this if people are interested. So if you're interested to see uh, me play the other chapters, please comment below. So if you're curious to find out about my my writing, the details will be in the comments below if, you want, if you're curious to check that out. Um, this fancy Swords of the Unforgotten Marys is based on three of my favourite RPG games. So so if you're a reader or you listen to audiobooks, they're there, the details there below. I love the people who have found this channel also be a fan of my writing, it would be amazing. But 
um, yeah so that kind of explains why I don't publish videos as often as I like I will try to make at least one video a week um, and for the short term I'm playing only short indie horror games for the moment until I catch up on workload I'm writing and hoping to make a short indie horror game myself I do enjoy playing indie horror games and uploading so other people enjoy but I'm also learning at the same time so this is great this is great for me and um, so I look forward to have the next video hopefully in a week time and as usual if you like this video please give a like comment subscribe it really does help me out and thank you for watching I hope you have a good day